What is up, everybody? So, chat GBT, I finally, welcome back. It's been a while since, uh, this is going to be a from rhythm to algorithm uh, video. Haven't made one of these since energy density with our great professor, Sabine Hasenfelter. He's going to teach me about physics. But like my mom said, none of my work has any value, so I just don't. Again, my universe is my parents, and I still need to pay my bills, and fuck me. But I finally got onto this thing, so I've not typed anything into this thing. And so, uh-oh, it's taken over the world. It's taking over the world, chat GBT. All of your retarded college fucking kids can't write anything because they're just whores. They don't know how to fucking form sentences. So, I'm pretty, again, like I said, I'm, I'm a nobody, but I've been known to process language pretty naturally myself. So we're going to give this a shot. What is this thing? Chat GBT. It's what is chat GBT? How long does this shit take? I am ChatGPT, a large language model trained by OpenAI. I'm designed in a wide range of different questions, interactions. I use natural language processing and machine learning algorithms to understand and generate human-like responses. My knowledge is based on vast corpus of text data, including books, articles, and websites. I am constantly learning and updating my basis, knowledge bases to provide the most accurate and relevant answers to users. What is sensorality? No, that, no, no, that's not what I type in. Oh, super sensual. That is no, stop generating. That is not what I typed. Which is another fucking awful fact about Apple computers. It just doesn't let you type the words that are actual words. Sensorality. Again, I'm the one processing all language. Sensorality. That is what I want to type in. That's a word. Oh. Sense, oh, no, sense, sensuality refers to, I apologize for the confusion earlier. I believe you may have meant sensuality instead of sensorality. Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just took over the world. Uh-oh. Again, the, the last 600,000 theorems I've sent to you guys, those aren't real. Great, great system here. Yeah, this thing's processing all the information. Let's try with a C. Both distinct words. Sensorality with a C is any filtering processing mechanism that isn't a sentient being. Sensorality with an S is anything that senses. It's like pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty close. Just drop the, the, the generality of the letter E or sound E at the end. Nope, nope. See, don't, 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 don't change my typing. What is sensorality? I'm sorry, but sensorality is not to be, a, appear to be a word in the English language. Oh yeah, I thought I told you. I was going to be so shocked. I was, I was just waiting for the big breakthroughs. I'm the one doing these things, and I'm going to defend the same way I had speci speciality, the natural tendency to differentiate for sexual antagonism, being special. This is, takes about two seconds to prove I'm smarter than all the internet. The term speciality generally refers to a particular field of expertise in which a person is an organization. At least we have some definition there. It's, it's differentiation. Specializes to differentiate. So yeah, this this is absolutely boring as fuck to me. This is nothing. Absolutely, legitimately nothing. But sensorality and sensorality with an S is distinctly what I am separating now in logic, right? When people say, like I said, sensors. You're being censored. They'll spell that with a C. It's the wrong, it's the wrong word. Anything that is a sentient being is uh, sensorality with an S. But how about... Uh, and again, this is this is about this is about how interesting this shit is to me. But this is the first time I got on here, and I told you what's the difference? What is the difference between sensorality and sensorality? Nope. Don't don't tell me what words are. Stupid computer. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. I apologize. I must clarify. This sentence is not a recognized English word. Yeah, well, well, that's because you have to expand the logical definitions and prove them with empirical geometric proofs, guys. Oh, all shuckaroonios. So shout out to all the people using this thing to write plagiarize. This is, to me, as an educator, this is plagiarism. If you use this to fucking write anything that is graded for academics, just, just kick them the fuck out. Oh, gosh. Censorship. Oh, there we go. It comes up with there. Sensuality is quite of being sensual, characterized by appreciation of the senses. Yet sensuality encompasses sensuality. Anything to be able to filter any information, right? Sensuality is a little more to intimacy. Um, 
include sensation, sensorelli sensates. On the other hand, censorship refers to the suppression of restriction of information. But it's willful sentient beings suppressing that information. If I drop a rock, it's always going to fall down. So magnetic fields are sensors with a C. And sensors with an S are someone saying, oh, don't say a swear word, Johnny. Don't show any titties, Johnny. But yeah, so again, this is, this is, this is fucking, where, let's try, where's Jimmy Hoffa's body buried? Where is Jimmy Hoffa buried? Which, by the way, I'm uh, uh, with literally, obviously, zero firsthand knowledge. But watching all of the things that I've um, uh, watched on the um, internet, there was definitely an episode of an old driver of Jimmy Hoffa that was interviewed by John A. Light and Mike Dowd on his channel. Which definitely, like, if all, again, I can just sense when people like know what the fuck they're talking about. But I, I'm going with I'm going within a concrete slab in a building in Manhattan. Wherever that old dude said that. That, that, that's my, I'm going with that guy. That guy seems super legit. So that's where Jimmy Hoffa is. He's in the cement. Michael Franzese, it was wet. Concrete is wet before it dries, brother. So again, obviously no firsthand personal uh, data, but when I watched that interview, it definitely seemed like that's where Jimmy Hoffa was buried. So it's a quick episode of, of From Rhythm to Algorithm, but this was the first, I'd, I'd forgotten about this thing. But again, very, very, very clearly, Fairly clearly can to find simple words that are clearly words that are being used incorrectly all the time demonstrably right now. All I did was take d completely derive the, the word family of speciality and demonstrate special means sexual antagonism or just differentiation and sensorality is filtering. I just need to find the next logical thing and again it, I am at maximum processing level. Like you can't derive. I, I'm literally the only person doing fundamental derivation in the species, which is wild, but. I still can't eat and sleep properly because nobody will give me a job, give me a time frame, let me manage my money, stop harassing me, stop extorting me, stop stealing my property, stop denigrating me every two days. But I'm glad you guys had fun with this wonderfully shit thing. So that's enough chat, GBT. Thank you for watching another episode of From Rhythm to Rhythm Algorithm. I will see you on the next one.